Centennial Hall was built in 1936 and has seen many performing art shows come and go. But there is one thing that never left and has only been experienced by a few. Let's take a look at the haunting of Centennial Hall. When people ask me, you know, is there haunted spaces? Um, yes, everywhere. Your homes, the restaurants here, Centennial Hall. Every place you go, you're going to find spirits. Joanne Rule is a medium. She is able to connect with spirits and ghosts and gave a reading on what and who is hanging around Centennial Hall. Centennial Hall is interesting. For one thing, there are a lot of visiting spirits. So there may be periods of time when there's, there's more spirits that are here and then periods of time when it's a little bit quieter. The difference between a spirit and a ghost is actually quite simple. Spirits have awareness that they once lived in a physical body, but a ghost is different. A ghost has had an experience that's a little bit traumatic. They aren't in a, in a dimensional space where they, their world looks just like it did when they passed, and they don't know they've passed. While conducting an interview with Rule, she told us about a spirit that overlooks the projection booth. My sense, though, is the uh, projectionist is probably very carefully watching the whole interview. Uh, I definitely sense, the minute I walked in, I could sense he's there. But again, he's not all that friendly. He's, I think he was a shy man when he was alive, and I think he's still a shy person. Uh, he's just not in the physical, but I'm pretty sure he's up there. I think he died probably more towards the 1980s. He's pretty current. Uh, when we were first up there, I could, I could sense that someone was there, and I couldn't, you know, I looked and asked, saw no one. But when I went to touch one of the cameras, I went over to put my hand on one of the, the, uh, the big projection cameras. He popped right out and said, don't touch that. And I said, aha, you are here. And he's kind of a shy ghost spirit, <laughs> not a ghost. And he, um, he stay, he, it's what he loved doing. He, he wants the room protected. He feels very strongly about who should be allowed in and what they, what they should be allowed to touch. And so he, he has a certain intensity about him uh, where he sort of guards the room and, and, uh, and the equipment in the room. Rule explains that it is not necessarily buildings that have spirits or ghosts attached to them, but you would be surprised at how close a ghost or a spirit might be to you. The U of A is a, has lots of uh, older buildings. This is a place that has been around since the turn of the century, uh, the 20th century. And so um, it, it tends to attract uh, a lot of spirits that might have, let's say, perhaps they have memory here. So someone that might have, a, you know, had gone here uh, early on and then after they passed as a spirit, they want to come back and visit. But mostly what you have is you have lots of students. And sometimes those students come with spirits. They come with relatives that have passed that are staying around them. So I find that mostly it's because of the population of students that you have here that they often bring with them a dead grandmother or <laughs> someone who might be trying to help them as, as they go through studies. So whenever you have a population you're going to have lots more spirits. Rule is not the only person who can encounter spirits. Terry McGill, the assistant technical director who has been working at Centennial Hall for nine years, tells us about her experiences. I am here all times of the day. Sometimes we get here at seven or eight in the morning and leave at two or three in the morning. I've had two different experiences here. Uh, one of them was when I was a student, um, my first year here. There, I was in the shop and um, picking something up off the ground, and when I looked up, I saw someone walk in the tool shed, walk from one side of the door to the other. And when I went in to see who it was, because I didn't think there was anyone in the tool shed, there was no one there. Um, and there was only one door that I could, and so there was no other way out. McGill says that the encounters she has had at Centennial Hall has convinced her that ghosts exist. I had come uh, back into the area we're sitting now uh, from the stage looking for my boss and I looked down the hallway and someone walked from an adjoining hallway 
straight ahead of them and I thought they walked out the door but they were on the wrong side of the door so there's only a brick wall for them to walk through and they disappeared. The first experience was much more I guess concrete to me. I, I looked up and I saw it happen and it didn't seem like it was out of the corner of my eye or anything like that and um, I mean it made me a little bit um, it made me question whether or not I believe in ghosts, uh, but I never felt scared of them. When I first started here, there were a lot more people who had seen ghosts and had experiences, and um, so there was, it was just sort of accepted that, you know, there were ghosts in Centennial Hall.